Criticate! Welcome back. We're about to get fucking fucked. We're about to fucked. get fucked. Like a dad. Oh. Come on. Robert takes my hand and leads me up the stairs into what I assume is his bedroom. But it's so dark that I can't see anything but Robert's intense expression. Wait, is Robert. Has this ever happened to you? To you? <laughs> Constantly. Uh. Right, do you want to do? Do you want to do Keith? Cause I'm Robert. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, okay, cool. He kisses me again, and I can hear him shucking off his jacket. Oh my god! I clumsily take off mine too. His hands roam down my chest, and suddenly he's tugging at my belt. I uh, I don't normally do this. Do you want to stop? No. No, I don't. No. No. Welcome to the sexiest episode of Criticade. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Robert continues to unbuckle my belt and guides me to the bed. Let's have some fun. Oh my god. <laughs> Hardcore porno. Oh, oh they don't show anything. Man. <laughs> it's like this is a game or something. <laughs> I wish there was a jerking Robert off minigame. Also, I hope that's real in real life. <laughs> Sunlight streams in between the slats of the blinds. My head is pounding. I really overdid it last night. Wait a minute. This isn't my old house. Or my new house. Oh, right. I look around for Robert, but I find myself alone. Hello? There's a clatter from the bathroom and the door opens. Robert is fully dressed and grabs his keys. That was fun. Yeah, it was. Uh, are, are you just... <laughs> are you oh, do you... Yeah, I, yeah, go ahead and take Keith then. Okay. You should go. Until we leave Roberts, at sure, least. Sure, yeah. That's certainly not what I was expecting. Well, uh, talk to you later. Mm -hmm. Robert cracks a smile. Sure, your clothes are over there. Oh. I hastily get dressed and show myself out. The sun is unbearably bright. I need to lie down. I start to make my way back home when I suddenly He's got remember. He's the meeting with the teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda! All right. Bad dad, we got an achievement. Oops. That's it's not gonna show up. Okay. <laughs> but uh, I rush back home and throw the door open. Something smells delicious. Uh, um, go ahead. Oh yeah, Amanda. Oh. Amanda runs out of the kitchen and looks slightly disappointed. Aw oh, man, I was kind of hoping you'd gotten kidnapped and I was gonna have to rescue you. You change your voice all the time. I do. <laughs> oh shit. Where are the Emmas? Huh. They left a little while ago. Oh. You guys have fun? Yeah, I mean, we watched some movies, ate snacks, stole a car, you know, the usual sleepover stuff. You teens and your larceny. So, this breakfast that's cooking, what's that all about? Uh, wait, before we talk about breakfast, why do you smell like cum, Dad? <laughs> why do you know uh, what cum smells like? <laughs> it's so really awkward. <laughs> can I? Yes, you can have some breakfast. Bless you, sweet child. My head throbs. Ugh, I gotta do something about this hangover. I pounded down one whiskey. <laughs> Amanda, your loving father might have overdone it last night. Oh, somebody's hungover? <laughs> father of the year. You wouldn't happen to have any aspirin or... I got just the thing. Hang on. Is it weed? I could go for some weed right now. Amanda runs to the fridge and pulls out a jar of pickles. They're full of weed. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, what? Drink this. <laughs> the pickle juice? Huh? Yep. I, that's what I used. Uh, I, I would assume someone would use. I would also assume that uh, it, it works pretty well. <clears throat> Although I've never tried it before. and won't try it, obviously. Amanda <laughs> Call her name. Fuck Why? her. Why? Fuck, don't fuck what, her. Don't, don't, fuck, don't her. fuck her. Don't, don't fuck her. her. I, meant, I meant like, <laughs> be a dad. I am. I'm giving her a stern yet resigned side eye. I think Amanda Ann is... Rock, paper, scissors. scissors. <laughs> Rock, paper, paper, scissors. Shoot! <sighs> Fucking... Amanda Ann. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay. Who gave you alcohol? Was it one of the various Emmas in your life? <laughs> uh, Dad, chill. Amanda, I have never had an ounce of chill in my life, and you should <laughs> know that by now. You better not be drinking alcohol in this household. Uh-huh. Just drink the juice. This better work. God, who's the parent? <laughs> I down a sip of the tart juice. <laughs> Just like you down some of Robert's tartus juice. Ugh. No, no, more like, more than that. Way more Whoa. than that. I mean, <laughs> I assume. Hmm. Watch it, you. 
I drink more pickle juice and help myself to the delicious breakfast that Amanda had graciously allowed me to partake in. After inhaling some hash browns and dunking several pieces of <laughs> bacon into runny egg, runny egg yolk, I'm starting to feel a little better. Amanda grabs her backpack and keys. Well, I gotta get to class. Don't forget the meeting with Mr. Vega, okay? He said it was important. Love ya. It's gonna be Robert. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. I'll be there. Knock him dead, kiddo. Nah. <laughs> 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 we do our secret handshake and she's oh, off. Oh, come on. I get a little work done. Why are you so against nice things? <laughs> I, don't know. I get a little work done at home before I glance at my watch and see that it's almost time for the meeting. I hop in the shower, change clothes, and head on my way. L still a little hungover. Go ask your mother. <laughs> I arrive at Amanda's school and check at the front desk. They give me a bright orange visitor sticker and send me on my way. I feel pretty haggard after not brushing my teeth or showering, but hopefully nobody will notice. Check my watch, and I am relieved to see that I am only two minutes late. Wait, was it room 103 or 108? I spot a youth standing in his locker and approach him for help. Excuse me, do you know where Mr. Vega's classroom oh, is? Like <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> I... The youth turns around and looks me up and down with heavily lined eyes. Oh man, you want to take it? <laughs> Robert's in love. <laughs> Come on, kid. I'm late for a meeting. Mr. Who? Mr. Vega. Have you tried the exit? Okay, wise guy. Are you going to help me or not? Oh, sigh. Fine. <laughs> up those stairs and to the left. You can't miss them. I head up the stairs and walk around, unable to find Mr. Vega's class anywhere. After a couple of minutes of searching, I head back downstairs. That punk youth sent me on a wild goose chase. I get back to where that low-rent Gerard <laughs> Way was standing. <laughs> fully ready to give him a piece of my mind. When suddenly a head pops up out of the classroom next to his locker. Oh. Oh, is this me? <laughs> uh, yeah, go for it. Okay. <clears throat> oh, shit, I skipped. Oh, well. Hey, hey Lucian. You were like, Lucian? Oh, okay. Right, don't you have class to get that's, to? But that's you. You're Lucian. I, oh, sorry. <laughs> Fine, Mr. Vega. Oh. Now I'm officially ten minutes late. I glare at him and he walks away. We are not cool. Hmm. You must be Keith. This period's almost over. Would you mind waiting in the back? Oh. to fuck him, too. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Vega leads me in, and I take a seat on one of the comically small students' desks in the back. I might get stuck in this. Hmm. All right, where were we? Now, who can tell me about the unreliability of the narrator in J.D. Salinger's Catcher in the Rye? Um. <laughs> yes, Colin. Colin stands up and does the thing where he blows into the crook of his elbow to make a fart noise. That's much less funny being described. Mm -hmm. The whole class erupts in laughter. Oh. All right, all right, everybody. Very funny, Colin. Please sit down. Not very funny at all. No, it's oh. not. It's kind of lame. Now, Holden Caulfield is an unreliable narrator in the sense that... He's not a dad. <laughs> <laughs> the bell for the end of the period rings. All the students immediately get up and make a break for the door. What? <laughs> Remember to do the reading and answer the response questions on page 194 in your textbook. Nobody's listening. Hmm? Or not, I guess. Mr. Vega turns to me and sighs. Hmm. Middle schoolers, right? Don't you teach high schoolers? <sighs> Both, you know, budget cuts. Right. Hmm. Thanks so much for coming in. No problem. Mr. Vega. Oh. Please, call me Hugo. <sighs> Why are you walking so <laughs> weird? <laughs> There's something dripping out of the bottom of your pant leg. Is that normal? I don't normally do these impromptu parent-teacher meetings, but as I'm sure you know, Amanda's a very bright student, and I'm concerned about her recent behavior. What's going on? <sighs> Amanda has never been the most engaged student, but I know she cares. Recently, though, she's been falling behind. She's not complimenting she's not completing assignments and has been doing rather poorly on tests. I'd normally chalk it up to the senioritis, but Ugh, this is strange. I thought Amanda always <laughs> shared everything with me. It hadn't even crossed my mind that something might be wrong. Uh... I just wanted to ask, is everything okay at home? We just move, she's fine, or she has a tendency to bottle things up. 
Uh, be honest. She has a tendency to bottle things up. Yeah. Let's be honest with us. Sure. I haven't noticed anything different about her, but she always tends to put up, put on a happy face no matter what. Ah. See if you can talk to her about it. I know she values you a great deal and would appreciate your guidance if she keeps heading down this road. Eh. I know how important art school is to her, and I would hate to see her miss out on scholarship money that she clearly deserves. I'll make sure to talk to Amanda. Thanks for letting me know, Hugo. Ah. Anytime. I mean, you can't tell she's depressed <laughs> by the eight layers of irony she's behind at all times. Fucking stupid. That's a sentence that could be about you, Robert. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> On my way out, I stop, thinking for a moment. I turn to Hugo. Hey, Hugo. Hmm? Yes. They ever catch that rye? Fuck. Stupid. It's a really stupid line. <laughs> hmm? Yes. <laughs> he loves it now. Of course. I'll leave the classroom and make my way out of the school. I'm still a little bit in shock that Amanda was able to hide this so well from me. She's always been such a force for positivity in my life, especially after we lost her mother. Amanda must be done with classes for the day by now. I'm sure she would appreciate a ride home and maybe I can talk to her about what's going on. And if you ah. want to know what's going on, you're going to have to check out the next episode of Criticade. Yeah. And you might need to subscribe for that, baby. <laughs> yep. You might need to hit that fucking subscribe button or I'll blow Jacob's brains out. Oh, can you just blow Jacob? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>